know me and those who, who know me, uh, you probably know more about me than, um, than others. All right, so um, thank you. Thank you so much for joining. This is just a bit about me and uh, what I do. The um, session is about a course, or if it's not really a course, it's more like a learning together environment for English language teachers uh, from around the globe. And of course, uh, it's open to others, language teachers or other teachers, because I think the idea is for us to um, work together and learn from one another. It is a community, and um, we're going to be discussing where we'd like to go. We'll start in this virtual class, which is a live class, meaning that um, you have to be here <laughs> at the specific time. Of course, others can also uh, watch the recordings, but I think it's not the same. Good morning, Maria. So uh, we're going to get started. If you could just write where you're from and the level of English that you teach, whether it's elementary, basic English, young learners, uh, K-12, adults, or if you um, are a teacher trainer for English as a foreign language or anything else about your background, so we get an idea of uh, who's here today. Hello, Carol. Haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you. I know it's early in the morning for some and probably late afternoon for others and maybe evening. So we've got Carol. Carol, you're from the United States. All levels of English, which means that it's young learners, adults, and so on. Patricia from Peru, different levels, children and adults. Let's see, Serbia, Brian, all levels. Anna from Italy, 11 to 14. I don't know if uh, any of you watched the session yesterday on that I gave at Jason's, well, it's not Jason's, it's all of ours, uh, teaching uh, teachers online, or teachers teaching online, TTO, on uh, the value. Oh, you didn't, you missed it, Josefina? I, I can share the, uh, the link to to the PowerPoint, I mean, not to the PowerPoint, to the YouTube video uh, that I recorded during the session. Anybody have it? Let's see if I, I get it. What uh, YouTube has changed its layout, which is really strange. I don't know why they would do something like that. But they keep changing things, and this time they really uh, took away. You can't get a list of your videos for some reason, which makes it really difficult to uh, get to the videos. You have to go through playlists. I have no idea why they, you know, why they do these things. At least without a warning, you know, it's it's sort of the Google policy that you. Uh, you make changes. You can visit classes like that, but you through don't, his IQ, you get or you don't get a warning when they when they make changes. Thank you, Brian. There's the um, thank you. There's a YouTube video that I uh, uploaded to YouTube that you can watch if you ha if you missed it. There is there are a few points that I think are relevant to. Um, using technology and teaching online and the fact that we can have such a community uh, where we can um, help one another and work together. Thank you, Brian. So is everyone a language teacher? If you could just uh, give me a thumbs up if you're a language teacher. It doesn't matter if you do something else. I know I do a lot of things, but... Um, Okay, so I see that, hi Rosie, I see that um, everyone is, okay, I don't see any thumbs down, which means that everyone is.
Okay, great. All right, so it is open to others. I mean, you know, and the idea, of course, is teamwork. Okay, working as teams. And the question that I'd like to ask you, because this is a session about our needs, all of our needs, okay, why are we here? Okay, why, um, how would you like to work together as a team? And of course, why, where, and when? Yeah, some of us may teach English as a second language and some as a foreign. Anybody here teaching English as a second language? Second language means that it's in the country, in a native English-speaking country. Except I think in the UK they may still call it English as a foreign language. I'm not sure. Um, TESOL, teaching English as a second language or teaching English as a foreign language. Right. Hello, Guadalupe. So the question is, uh, what do we want? That's right, English to speakers of other languages as well. That's right, the ESOL. Mumbai, India, great. So how are we going to do this? Of course, uh, we have to be set on the purpose. You know, why, uh, why are we doing this individually? You know, what would you like to accomplish? What are your needs? What do you want to do? So we'll be sharing that in the course feed or elsewhere. We also have to decide where we want to connect and how to connect. So I think the course feed for now, if we're talking about uh, the, well, not course, but it's the community that uh, I, th I believe all of you came from there. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, that's the community, English language teachers worldwide. Okay, great, Patricia. Thank you. You know, it's really important, even if you don't know why, it's important to think about it. Uh, it makes things a lot easier for each one of us if we know why, what our purpose is, or maybe more than one. Teach online to know ideas, resources. Mm-hmm. Yes, Isabel. Okay, and then where are we going to do this? Okay, so we'll decide if you're fine with um, WizIQ and um, the course feed. Okay, there's the course feed. I know the new courses have other ways of connecting. They're a bit different. Okay. And then... Um, when and the when is 24 7 in other words everybody could come to the course feed and add their comments or suggest ideas and work together but we could also have these live online sessions where each one of us leads in other words the when in real time where um you can present not just it's not going to be me but each one of us will have a chance to present and uh, share ideas or techniques or experiences that they've had. So that, that's an option too. How many would like to give a presentation? Sometimes it's uncomfortable when we do it in front of peers, in front of each other, because we're all teachers. But I think that's more so in a face-to-face. -face. But once you get over it, it's really uh, easy. Not sure. Okay. Yeah, it could be intimidating. Oh, you do, Guadalupe. That's great. That's wonderful. It's, it, you know, we'll do it slowly, you know, um, those that are more keen. And yes, you asked Maria, it was it you. Yes, you asked, how can I share my PowerPoint with you? I asked Was IQ because there used to be a way to share it. Now I don't see that option anymore. So I asked Was IQ to let me know how that's done because I don't see that option. They've made some changes, so I don't see it. But um, you will have a chance to create your session, share it with us, and then you can add the PowerPoint yourself to your session, so that wouldn't be a problem. Anna, you say it's not so easy. All right, so we'll take it one step at a time. Once you feel comfortable, you'll be able to do it. And then we can decide how often. 
we want to do it. <coughs> okay. You, yeah, you can place the link. Yes, Tom. But there used to be a way. Yeah, if you upload it to your account in your content box, and then you can share the link. But Tom, there used to be a way to share uh, a file with someone else. And it seemed to have disappeared. But you know, some things disappear when, when you upgrade a program. So I've asked WizIQ to look into it. And I think they should put it back because I think it was a great feature. Because once someone shares, not through assignment, Tom, but once someone shares um, a file with you, you can upload it. You can keep it in the library and then you just upload it into your session. So it's really a good feature. And then, of course, there's a question of how often. How often do you want to have live online sessions? And how long you'd like them to be? Would you like them to be, you know, 60 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour and a half? Okay, these are some things to think about. By the way, the PowerPoint presentation, this one, is in the courseware in the course, in uh, this course. So if you haven't joined, you'll be able to see it there. Of course, depends on a lot of things, uh, Brian. But these are things, yeah, maybe 30 minutes. That's right, Kirsten. I've had sessions of 30 minutes, sometimes 20 minutes, you know, to have a quick session for 20 minutes. Most people can make it because sometimes 60 minutes is a bit long. Okay, maybe weekly. Every day, <laughs> Guadalupe, you want us to come together every day for the rest of our lives. That's cute. Yeah, we do teach every day when we share information. Yeah, exactly, Josephina. Our attention uh, span, span, sorry, our, uh, yes, is problematic. Definitely. Especially for teachers who like to take, or anybody who wants to take part, because it gets boring just listening to someone. You want to do something as well. Wow, Brian, I know what you mean. We had, it, but if it's a workshop and they do something, it's okay. But I can get bored uh, in 20 minutes with, it depends on so many things in a face to face class. So, yeah. Okay, so the purpose. Why are we doing it? And of course, what information we want to share and then the tools. Okay, I mentioned all that, but this is something we might want to discuss. So what tools? Okay, we may want to share different tools, different programs. There's so many out there. And you've probably heard of a lot of them and all these uh, online conferences and MOOCs. Mine are four hours, oh my gosh, plus 20 long every day. Wow, Kirsten. Oh, four hours a day with a break, I hope. Oh, there's an idea. I'd like to give online seminars for teachers with the FR. That's excellent. Oh, NLP, I love that. I was just talking about it with a friend that was involved eight, uh, six years ago, and then she left it, and I thought... How unfortunate. Yes, NLP is amazing. Amazing. Maria, that is a super idea. I don't know. Is anybody familiar with NLP? Yes, NLP. Anybody know what it stands for? Oh, you're doing, you're studying the master. Very nice. And you're finishing. That's wonderful. Yeah, exactly, Pablo. Excellent. Right. Neurolinguistic programming. It may sound kind of scary. We're going to be programming our students, but it's absolutely amazing. It's just like the word technology may sound kind of very robotic, inhuman, but, you know, words do not capture what they always mean. We are the best and we will start the road to be. Exactly, Pablo. That's, 
that's the attitude. It's really going at our own pace, but um, staying together for as long as we can so that we can continue and develop into, it is a community of English language teachers because it's lonely out there, isn't it? I mean, for many of us, um, it's lonely. And, I, and I'm getting back. I mean, I've been doing technology, more technology, teaching English, but not really uh, training teachers for a while. So I'm looking, for, I'm going to be doing um, some master teacher training uh, and practicum and supervising and face to face um, at uh, about three uh, English, uh, I mean, colleges, teachers, teacher colleges. So um, I'm going to need to practice as well. So I'm, whatever I <laughs> learn, I'm going to share with you. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? And I think that supervision is really important. A friend of mine is doing uh, research on supervision, which is, you know, it's kind of a hard word. There isn't a better word, but you can say mentoring or um, providing feedback or the different master teaching and so on. But the idea is how do you give feedback? And you know that I use uh, be kind, be specific, but still, you know, how do you help someone and be helpful? Okay, how do you, because we do need help from one another. I mean, you can help me. Hopefully you'll help me and I'll help you. and We'll help each other. But how do we do it so that it's effective and we benefit from each other's feedback? So I think teaching online in a virtual classroom and nobody's the best. We can all learn from one another. I don't think there's anyone, um, you know, that we can say is perfect. We're all imperfect. And that's what makes us so perfect, that we do have a chance to learn. That's right. So it's willing to be contributed to. I like that, Guadalupe, and um, helping one another. So you're going to have to figure out, well, when I asked what tools, it's also hardware. Okay, so um, what kind of hardware are you going to need for this learning teaching and helping one another. Any um, suggestions? I'm going to put green on, whoops, there it is, tools. Not a very nice color, but our cake, Cum <laughs> cumulative acquired knowledge and experience. I love that cake. Yes, we're going to share the cake. That's wonderful. That's right. Cumulative acquired knowledge and experience. All these acronyms are amazing. Yes, Samira, we're going to need a good, a good, a very good internet connection. But you know what? It's getting better with WizIQ. It doesn't have to be that great. But we may have to uh, stop the video, the webcam, and just use the audio. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, Tom, but I couldn't find it. Maybe they put it back because I complained a few hours ago that I want it back. So maybe it's back. So you're able, I'm, I'm recording this, so I can't really move to check, but I hope they've fixed it. Okay, great. So it's back. Good. Okay. Um, oh, you do. That's great. I, I can't pronounce your name. Jack Lee Wani. Jack Shi Wani. Uh, you have a community. I just don't like Yahoo um, because of the spam and different things. And Maria says you're studying your postgrad specializing in education ICT. Excellent. Javid. Ah, Javid Jawani. Okay, Javid. And there are enough tools and what is necessary. Yeah, but we need a webcam. I mean, a microphone. Okay, so I think that you need a microphone. Tom, any chance of getting a microphone? Microphone. Or you want us to go to um, Venezuela to hear you. Microphone. I misspelled that. <laughs> microphone. Okay, so a microphone. Really important, I think. 
because I want to hear your voices. So who has a voice today? To use other PC or laptop. Okay, so try to find some, but something. Let me know. I'm going to figure it out. I told you. I'm, I'm, we're going to have to talk about this. Maybe we can get a sponsor to get your system working. Great. Wonderful, Guadalupe. Yes, we've, I've heard you. We're going to get talking in a minute. All right, so some of the tools that we need to connect. Well, the do you know, have any of you recorded yourself on YouTube? It's called broadcast yourself. I call it record. Anyone record themselves on YouTube? Ah, oh, really? Oh, Kirsten, so you need to connect with WizIQ support. Support. And if you want to send me an email too, CC me. Okay. Or just say, no, they're, they're pretty fast, but um, you can CC me so I can make sure they take care of it right away. Never YouTube. So probably you might want to try it. It's quite nice. I've done a few of these. It's getting better because Google is improving everything. Okay, great. Uh, and work for a course I did about in 2011. Very good, Maria. So you can actually record yourself using YouTube. You can also use your, I don't have my cell phone here, your smartphone uh, using through your smartphone because that's what I want you to do. I want you to introduce yourselves during the week, very simply, through a video. Okay, so YouTube and so we can hear your voice. I think it's really important. If we can see you, that will be great. You can do it through your smartphone, your Android, iPad, um, tablet, and through WizIQ. You can also record yourself by creating a, a virtual class, scheduling a WizIQ class, and then just recording yourself. And you can share the link in the course feed. I'm going to open a thread or one of you can open a thread where we introduce our oh, voice thread. Yes, you can do that through voice thread too. But I wanted the video. I mean, I wanted, you know, to be able to see you so we can see one another. Okay, so we're all if you can do it through YouTube, that would be great because then we can see you and we can hear you. Okay, there are a lot of uh, different ways of doing it. Okay, so YouTube is one option, but through multimedia. Another one is slide speech. If you don't have a microphone, you can use slide speech. You can use Audacity if you have something, Audacity, and then you can add it. Okay, Audacity, it's also free. Okay, so slide speech, if you know, you can use Screencast-O-Matic, you can use MoveNote, or any other Vacaroo. Have you heard of Vacaroo, right? Vacaroo, Vac, or Vucaroo, Vucaroo. I think it's Vucaroo, isn't it? SoundCloud, yes, yeah, SoundCloud is amazing, isn't it? I love it. Yes, yeah, SoundCloud, Vacaroo, I think it's Vacaroo, yes, <laughs> Uhu, that's right. Isn't Uhu crazy? What a name for it. Yes. And I think these are apps on your Android. If you go to your Android and you look for a record, you can also use the record button. Okay, so try to make it video so that it's multimedia and not just um, audio. So we can also see. Okay, so that's your uh, task, our task. I'm going to do it too, of course. Our task for next week. And uh, we'll share the link in the... Um, now, when you introduce yourself, if you could add a few things, okay? And let's see, I'm going to get a whiteboard here. Could you add, what would you like to see? Okay, so let me get, uh, what would you like, what, what do you think we should have in the uh, introduction, in the video introduction, introduction? What do you think we should have? Okay, what should we have? Okay, so there's one. Okay, I'll give you, uh, Carol, I'll give you writing tools. Okay, Carol, could you write something? And then Pablo, using the uh, keyboard. Okay, and uh, Tom. Okay, basically I'm giving everybody 
um, Brian. Okay, do you see it? Okay, great. So our face, what should we have? In other words, what information should we add? What information in the introduction? Yes, we want our faces and our voices, but okay. What information would you like to get from other people? What we do in life. Okay, name to this. Okay, so uh, name. You can add name. Whoops, I just want to fix that. Name, what we do in life, what we love in life. Oh, wow. That's good. You can make this larger, by the way. Just pull there. This isn't exactly a, a wiki, but... Life, that's interesting. So you want to know about our lives. Okay. Aminos, welcome. Aminos, where are you from? I only noticed your name now. Algeria, welcome. Do you teach English, Aminos? Yes, great. If you haven't joined the, uh, the community, there, there's the link to the community. Discuss different reasons for teaching. Nice. So, so we're going to have quite a bit in this uh, introductory video. That's great. Okay, that's quite a bit. Okay, I'm going to stop my video. Apparently, I'm causing problems. Uh, in the audio. Okay. All right. So I took away my video because with IQ, you know, it equalizes all our connections together. What, what, oh, what do we like most in teaching while we're anybody interested in getting a Google drive and putting it together? Uh, any, any volunteer to get a Google drive, Google drive doc and sharing it with everybody so we can add all this to the Google Drive and then we can follow it and then uh, one, two, three, and then we will all have more or less the same things if that's what we want to know. Or you could, okay, so Guadalupe, um, if you could get that and then make it public so we can um, add to it and then that'll be the first stage. The next stage will be to, uh, to answer the questions in the um, introduction. Does everybody have, um, okay, I see somebody got kicked out. Okay, so I'm taking away the uh, writing controls from everybody. I think I took away the writing controls. Let me try again. Uh, take away, take back. Okay, I took back uh, the writing controls. Okay, so nobody has writing controls anymore. Sorry about that. So we'll get that. Um, Guadalupe is going to share that uh, the link of the Google Drive doc so that we can add to it. Okay, so these are some of the tools that we can use to connect through uh, multimedia. And we'll be um, adding to the tools. What I was thinking and you can correct me, you know, we don't have to do what I think. Okay, thank you, Guadalupe, excellent. Um, is maybe working on lesson plans and maybe syllabi and putting together maybe uh, plans for lessons. I was also thinking of um, connecting and maybe co-teaching or inviting one another to your classes. So for example, if Guadalupe teaches adults, I believe in Mexico, maybe I or anyone else or a few of us can join her, her classes and speak, you know, introduce ourselves and maybe talk 
uh, in front of her face-to-face -face students or online students, doesn't really matter. So connecting with each other's classes as teachers, because I think as teachers, maybe we're not as intimidated as people who do not teach. So maybe it would be easier for us. So to come and to talk about different things, maybe, we'll decide what we want to talk about. Okay, so connecting, um, and you can come to my schools as well, my face-to-face -face, uh, classes and, and think, you know, and join forces. Okay, and try to figure out ways to engage. I think together we could probably get more ideas than alone. I always think that, you know, even if one person speaks, I get a lot of ideas by just listening. They may be talking about, you know, I don't know, about cooking, okay? But I'll get ideas about other things. In other words, just listening to someone, you your mind starts going in different directions. So, yes, exactly. So, you know, in finding ways of engaging our students our, or engaging people. It doesn't have to be students, you know. It's engaging someone else and um, finding authentic activities. Of course, making it meaningful and fun. Exactly. We have a lot of experience. And I think together we could be amazing. And, and there's so many areas that we can go into and who knows, you know, where this is going to go. But, it, you know, if we're open, it could go to a lot of really amazing places. All right. So anybody know what VLE is? Anyone? VLE? There, there's a hint. If you look at the image of the VLE, you probably get ideas of what VLE is. Um, right? There's a, a sky and a cloud. That's right. Very good, Kirsten. I think you were the first there. Virtual learning environment. Exactly. Virtual means that it's on the cloud. There's a link, okay, in the browser window. A link in the browser window. And that's how uh, you share information. It could be a, exactly Pablo. That's right. It could be a, a, a management, a learning management system. Did you get that wrong or something? MLS? Maybe you meant, yeah, that's what I thought. I try to read it. Okay. He probably means element. No, it's okay. See, we understand each other even if we make, uh, you know, little typos and things. We always know what we're talking about. Okay. No need to be sorry. Okay. So, and two forms of this VLE, virtual learning environment, are the wikis and blogs. Okay, this is a wonderful way to, of course, connect. So maybe this is what we'll want to have. And we'll be able to work and reflect and connect our learners. I, I sometimes use drama in the classroom. That's wonderful. Okay, that's great. Uh, it's called, uh, that's right, real. Yes, drama has a huge place in our lives and storytelling, of course. So lots of ideas, okay, which is great. And that's it. It's 26 minutes. Okay, so this uh, took 26 minutes and um, it's together we can do it. We can do it together and we're trying, we're going to try to break walls, do something different. Yes, Guadalupe, Clil, exactly. And we can invite speakers to our community of uh, teachers, English language teachers and others. So we can invite them and um, so feel free to invite your friends. This is an open community. And thank you, Tom, for um, adding that, which is your think tank class, which is great. And um, we can do it all. Okay, that's the idea. Okay, so again, the link to the uh, course is there. All you need to do is go to the course feed. Guadalupe is going to uh, share uh, a Google Drive document. We're going to be adding to it. What we want is before we start introducing ourselves to have a list of things that interest us. What do you want to know about one another? 
okay, what will help us move along. Okay, so the course feed is our discussion area. And we can add different things there. Are there any questions? I want to pass the uh, mic around. If there are any questions or if you'd like to add comments or suggestions or ideas. Remember, this is us. Okay. It's, uh, it's whatever we want it to be. And I know there's an interest in this. People have been asking me to do this for years. Well, not for a long time. Oh, that's a great idea, Guadalupe. Um, anybody uh, want to grab the microphone? Oh, we we'll leave that for a later time. <laughs> All right. Okay, so thank you. That was just um, to learn a little bit about one another. Uh, chat is copied. Tom has added it. You can all copy the chat. It's just above the chat box. And um, if you want to know, ask. Okay, so if there are any questions, suggestions, and so on, compartmentize a group who will look into IT and others in tech. Sure. Sure, we, we could do a lot, and we can organize it um, in the course feed through, um, as I mentioned before, you know, whatever you want to use. We can use um, Google Drive. We could use, um, you know, for the VLE. We can use a wiki. We can use a blog. We can use all of them. What is IT? What what in IT? Okay, we could discuss that too. Information technology. I wish they would change the words. Um, I don't know if IT really captures what's happening um, with technology these days. Best practices, excellent. Okay, so there's so much to do. So take take charge whatever whatever you're passionate about you can go with that and then you know initiate and go for it so thank you everyone and we'll decide when the next session will be so it's going to be teamwork a lot of teamwork this was just uh the beginning getting us together so thank you everyone i'm going to record this add it upload it to youtube and then share it in the course in the um, course content area it takes me a lot of time to figure them out okay all right so lots of reflections we'll do it together i think it's a lot better to work together and the closer we get the easier it's going to be for us all of us and i'm included i i need all the support and help i can get to so I'm looking forward to uh, working together. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, ideas like what Guadalupe says. I, I have questions that I want to ask other teachers. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? So thank you.